uh, you know, hi. <laughs> hi, I'm Tammy. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm just doing a sample sniff today. I'm just giving you my very first impression, my absolutely first reaction uh, of what I think these samples smell like. And I'm no expert. I don't know what I'm talking about for the most part. I'm just kind of like probably just going to be saying, hmm, interesting. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> so if you find that entertaining, you're in for a great treat. <laughs> Okay, so I got some samples in the mail and I've been waiting to spray them until I'm ready to film and that's just not gonna work. So I'm not ready to film, but I just decided to put the camera on and go for it because I cannot wait to smell these samples. So a few of them I broke down and sprayed because I just was getting too excited and I couldn't wait. Um, one order that I placed was from Centrique.com and that order came the fastest. I just purchased three different Pierre Guillaume, ones that kind of sounded interesting to me. Le Musque et le Peu. I actually realized that I had purchased a uh, dabber sample of this a while back. But anyway, it doesn't matter because I like this one. It's very musky and soft and soapy and I really like it. Um, I can tell you more about that in a minute. And also from Pierre Guillaume, I got Sensuality and I got In Team X Team. Um, and I'll tell you all about those in a minute. And I also got um, Shen Quan by Zerjoff that I've been telling Veronica that I'm going to get a sample and smell it. And so I couldn't wait. I did smell it and I'll tell you about that in a minute also. And then there was uh, Tamin Blue Heart, which I've heard so much about. I've heard, um, let's see, who have I heard talk about that? There's Sharita. Um, uh, who else have I heard talk about this? Um, uh, anyway, quite a few people I've heard talk about that, and so I really wanted to try that. And then, just a sec, the two that I'm most excited about that I, I've actually sprayed all these, but I've waited to spray Zerjoff Lyra, I know everyone's probably smelled this by now, but I am so, 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 so excited. So excited to smell this. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and I just dream that it's going to be good, and I hope it is. And then <laughs> Amouage Guidance. I could not resist getting this one. So I tell you, I have not sprayed this, I promise, but I can smell it through the atomizer. Like, I can smell like maybe what the dry down would be. It's just oozing out of there. So I think this is gonna be, I mean, I love what I smell without spraying it. I'm nervous to actually spray it because I've heard everything from it smells like salad dressing to it smells like, uh, I've, I've heard the gamut of anything that it smells like. I feel like it's either love it or hate it. And I love what I'm smelling without ever having sprayed it. Like I love, it's got that really good, like something, something, <laughs> something, something, you know, <laughs> um, I have a headache today, so I don't even want to spray too much, but I'm just so excited to spray these and smell them. Um, and then, okay. So I'm just going to tell you real quick. I got my surrender to chance sample order. I got a little dabber of Oud for greatness, just so I can smell it just because I feel like I'm the only one who hasn't smelled this and I know I'm not going to love it. I know I'm probably not even going to like it. Maybe I will. But I just wanted a dabber because it's super expensive. Tray, tray, tray expensive. Um, and I got Aaron Amber Musk d'Or. Amber Musk d'Or. I um, should be getting my French a little bit more down pat since I am Canadian. I live in a bilingual province. But anyways, um... I have actually ordered and returned Aaron Amber Musk, but Amber Musk door, door. Um, I just feel like maybe that'll be like a winner. Um, Valaya, I mean, I cannot wait to smell this. I'm so excited. Billie Eilish two. I didn't like Billie Eilish one. Um, I don't like it yet. I still have my sample and I'm still going to keep trying it, but I'm really excited to smell number two, except and I haven't sprayed this, but I'm smelling a tiny bit of smokiness and I hope that's not the case because I don't like smokiness. And then I have Huda Beauty 
um, Kayali Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli, 64. So just because they don't even carry this in Sephora anymore, I don't think it was a, a good seller for them maybe. Um, so you can't get, at least in Sephora Canada, you can't get it anymore online. So um, I just wanted to smell it. And the Sephora stores around here, like in my province, they don't carry the Kayali fragrances in store. At least the ones here near me. So I'm so excited to smell all these. What's this? Okay. Have I mentioned them all? Yes. Now, okay. What do I want to do first? I'm nervous. What am I going to do first? I'm going to do Lyra because that I've wanted to smell that for the longest. I'm not even going to go for the paper. I'm going to go right on my skin. Oh my God. I'm nervous. I'm, I don't even dare smell it. I, I, I'm just... Okay. Okay, there's the lemon. Hmm, I like it so far. I like it so far. I think it's gonna be good. It's already getting sweeter. I don't mind sweetness as long as it's balanced with some good citruses or woods or florals or something to just give it something besides just sugar candy smell. Okay. I think I'm going to like this one. This is going to be fun to like give a full wear test. And I mean, it's like either 1.5 or 2 mils. So I can like dose myself in this if I want. Or I'll just wear like a couple spritzes to bed. That'll give me a good idea too. Because when I'm laying in bed, it's all just wafting up to me. So like, that. okay, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know if I'm still recording. I'm going to run out of storage. I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified in an excited way. Like about to go down a roller coaster. <clears throat> I love the smell from the nozzle. I love that. So here we go. This is confusing. This is, what am I smelling? Not to be funny, but I feel like I kind of understand what people might have meant by salad dressing, like the vinaigrette smell. But that's already fading. It's already getting better. It's got a spice to it. I feel like it's some sort of amber vibe I'm getting. Okay, I don't know what I'm smelling. I, I, I'm not advanced enough to pick up on notes of what I'm smelling. Something maybe oud or something. I'm going to spray one more spray. I'm just going to do it. Okay, there we go. Let's go back to Lyra. Oh, that's still nice. That's just a really sweet, cakey lemon. That's just how I imagined it. Just how I imagined it. Amouage. Guidance, though. I don't know what I'm smelling. It's some sort of wood or amber. All I know is that when I smelled it from here, it smelled beautiful. So I think that what you smell from the atomizer is like the dry down. I think it's most like the dry down. So I think I'm gonna really love it later. Okay, okay, still recording, yay. Now, oh, I don't know what to spray next. Okay, I'm so excited. Well. I feel like that was a letdown because I don't understand what I'm smelling. It's just perfumey. I think it just smells like perfume, but nondescript. I don't really know what I'm smelling. Let me just look on Fragant. Fragant. Fragrant. Just let me look on Fragrantica. <sighs> Opening a fresh pear and frankincense with rose and saffron. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. Mm-hmm. Okay, someone else. Opening is so intense, sour, and almost rotten smelling. Well, to me, it's not unpleasant at all. I just don't understand it. After it settles, the notes harmonize and it becomes delicate, creamy, sweet, powdery, woody, and slightly fruity scent. I believe you. I believe you. Madeline and more, I believe you. Because I really like it from here. So, and Lyra, it's what I thought. It's what I thought. This is gonna have to take a full wear test before I know if I really, really like it. Um, okay, okay. I'm gonna spray Valaya. 
I always want to say Valeia because like Zendaya, you know, but um, I think it's Valeia. But anyways, okay, I'm really excited to spray this one. Once you spray it, you can't go back because now you'll know. Now you know what it smells like. And I don't know yet. I don't know at this moment what it smells like, but I'm going to. Then I can't go back to not knowing. This is quite a moment. musky this is embarrassing because I'm no expert <laughs> I just it takes me a while to get used to what something smells like and how I describe it, it takes me a while so first impression video is probably not the way to go for me in the future but <sighs> I like it it's musky I probably will never post this because like All right, the next two I'm gonna spray on a paper because I'm scared to put them on my skin. I don't know if I'm gonna like them. The Billie Eilish number two. All right. I'm gonna have to unscrew it a little bit and screw it back. Cause it's... Oh, okay. Okay, sandalwood. Sandalwood. It's gonna take me a little while to decide if it's gonna be a pickly sandalwood or not. And that'll take spraying it on my skin. Hmm. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Um, vanilla Royale sugared patchouli. Okay. Huh. Wait, wait. I'm getting black Twizzlers, black licorice. Black Twizzlers. Black Twizzlers. I'm getting strong black licorice, like the pipes, the soft licorice pipes. That's what I'm getting right now. That's exactly what I'm getting right now. I'm going to wait on this. Now, how am I going to remember which one this is? I know. I'll put it beside it over here. There. Now, oh, let's go back to Valaya. Yeah, I like it. I like that one. Yeah, it's just fruity musky, but deeper than other fruity musks. I like it. Lyra? I like it. Now, what else do I have sprayed? Oh, Guidance. Oh, no. Not like in that, this moment of it. I'm not liking it at this moment. Hmm, I think it's better not to smell these close up. So I will do like wear tests, full wear tests of them. Black licorice pipe, exactly black licorice pipe, exactly, exactly the, like the black licorice cigars or black licorice pipes. I, I mean, right now, that's all I can get out of it. So I am going to spray Aaron Amber Mastor on here. Hmm. It's quite a bit like, it's quite a bit like the original Amber Musk. There's some sort of like oud or what's in there? Let me look it up. Uh, it does have oud. Ah, I realized that. Please be recording. Yay! 
I thought it smelled like the original Aaron Amber Musk, but with oud. Ah, I'm actually like learning. Okay, now back to Lyra. That's nice. I can't wait to do a full wear test of that one. Back to, what's this? Which one did I spray here? Oh shoot, which one did I spray here? What did I spray here? Oh, Valaya. That's really different. It's interesting. Hmm. The guidance is smelling weird. I think it's going to take an hour for that one to settle down. Okay. Oh. Is that this one? I'm not surprised because I already can barely smell it. And that's why I returned Aaron Amber Musk is because I couldn't smell it on myself, barely at all. Like unless I literally put my nose on my skin. It's still there a little bit. I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of the ones that I already sprayed. I don't even dare try Oud for Greatness because I've had a headache today and I think I'm gonna wait. I know I'm probably not going to like it, and so you don't want to see that. Uh, maybe I'll let you know in the comments. Now, I want to get back to uh, I want to get back to sugar patchouli. <laughs> it is my dad loves those black licorice pipes or black licorice cigars. That's all I'm getting out of it right now, and that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. It's just all I can smell right now. Let me know if you think Lyra smells like Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene. Or if not, let me know how you think it's different. I actually haven't smelled Unknown Pleasures, but I have the Dapper version. And it's reminding me of this. So the Dapper version might be right on. It might not be. I'm not sure. Alaya is so interesting. It's so interesting. I really like it. It's different. Guidance is getting better. It's getting better. This one could be okay for a full wear test. It might be more of a summertime thing, even though it's probably meant to be deeper, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting a very light scent. Guidance is getting better. It's coming through. It's coming through a little better. Hmm. Let me just give you a quick rundown of the Pierre Guillaume ones. Um, uh, Le Masque Le Peu is pretty soapy. Pretty? Is a pretty soapy mask. Um, <clears throat> but what I wanted to say about this is that I got my husband to smell it and he was like, ew, no, that smells like urinal cakes. I was like, I've never smelled urinal cake, so I wouldn't know. I was like, oh no. He's like, yeah, it smells like a cleaner, or like urinal cakes. I'm like, um, I find it just a very pretty, pretty soapy musk, like lovely. And I got my son to smell it, albeit a couple hours later. So it may have changed. And he said, no, I don't agree. I don't think it smells like urinal cakes. I think I like it. Like, I really like it. So, I mean, this is very, very right up my alley. It is lovely, musky, pretty, soapy. Um, I really like it. Now the other Pierre Guillaume ones, um, one is, oh gosh, I, I'm, oh, I'm scared I'm gonna run out of video. Intim X Team. This is kind of like a molecular smell, like an orangey amber, and it reminded me a little bit of Hugo Boss Orange, which is not meant to have orange in it. Orange is a Hugo Boss line of clothing, but, um, like it gives me that vibe. It's kind of an orangey amber. Um, it has sweetness and it has powderiness. It has a little bit of oranginess and that molecular type of amber. That's what I get out of Intim X Team. Sensuality. This is actually really good. I describe this as a cross between Versace Blue Jeans and uh, Aqua de Parma Mandorlo de Cecilia. Like, 
I find blue jeans is more cola, like Pepsi or Coke. I find Mandorlo de Cecilia to be more root beer, sarsaparilla vibes. So this is halfway in between. And just like those, it has that very pretty musk and a lot of florals and just, you know, I find this very pretty and it seemed to project really well. So Sensuality by Pierre, Pierre Guillaume. Um, I really like this one and it, it does lean a little tiny, tiny bit masculine, but I don't mind that. Like it's, it's, it's a good one. I like that one. Okay. So Zerzhov Shenquan. Veronica, I like it. It's really soft and powdery, but you know, I really get the licorice all sorts. Um, the powdery ones, the ones that like when you pick them up, they feel a little bit powdery. They're like they're orange or pink or white, like kind of the candy part on the outside of those licorice all sorts is the undertone that I get from this. Um, I did wear this to bed one night and I found it really cozy and really comforting, really pretty. Um, I don't know if I would get a full bottle, but I do like it. Like there's nothing that I dislike about it. So, um, my husband said it reminded him of the Escalade. I'm like, you mean when we get it cleaned and like that armor all kind of smell? He's like, yeah, I think so. I'm thinking maybe it has a little bit of that like rubbery plastic note that you might find in like Resendo Matu number five or like something like that. Maybe that's what he's picking up on. I don't really get that out of it. I think I get something similar when I say it smells like the licorice all sorts, like the candy part. Even the uh, the little ones with the little uh, dots on the outside, you know what I mean? I'll try to pop up a picture. That's what I'm getting from this. Really pretty, really comforting, powdery, cozy, a very, it's a little bit ambery, but a very light, mild type of amber. It gives me a little bit of the experience that you get with Prada Candy, where you get like the powdery cocoa powder candy, a little bit sweet, um, kind of cloudy feeling around you. like. I really like this. Tamine Blue Heart. This one is very interesting too. This was another one that was really hard for me to describe. Um, I thought it was a little bit weird at first and I think it was the saffron that I was smelling. Um, obviously I'm gonna have to retest and these are all first impressions. These are all just like first reactions. Like, yes, I have sprayed, you know, some off camera, but there's, st I'm still just telling you my first reaction and what it was. It's not like a wear test. It's not, like growing to love something. It's just my immediate first instinct of what I thought it smelled like. Now with Blue Heart, um, after a while I did get some coconut, I did get some vanilla, so I really did like it. It's like a niche version of woody uh, coconut, woody coconut vanilla in a niche way. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had sprayed this first thing one morning when I came downstairs. I came down at like six o'clock in the morning. I usually sleep in until eight or nine, but I sprayed it on first thing in the morning, came down. I was about to make my toast and I just couldn't resist. I'm like, I have to spray it on. I'm just going crazy having these samples sitting around me and not being able to smell them. And my husband came downstairs about five minutes later and he said, oh, it smells like, remember when we were kids, there was this store where there was a shoe store like in the attic part where you went up and it kind of had like a musty, he said, it smells like a retro shoe store. So that's when I first sprayed it, but then a couple, a couple hours later when I get him to smell it, um, he said it smelled like cake and cookies. So this one definitely goes through a big change from when you first spray it to later in the dry down. And I'd love to do a full wear test on this. Like I just dose myself in it or maybe just, you know, a few sprays, but just like wear it around my body instead of just down on my hand. There's Lyra. Um, to give it a, a really good try, but I liked it. It's interesting. All of these are going to take a little time to like play around with, but I mean, I only have so much time because I have so many samples. I have hundreds and hundreds of samples. Uh, samples are my thing. It's fun. Look how much fun I've had. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Going back over. So let me just go back to Billie Eilish too. A very simple sandalwood. And I have not sprayed this on my skin yet. So let's just keep that in mind. A very light, basic, almost could be dill pickly sandalwood. That's it. But like I said, take it for what it's worth. First reaction, I have never worn it on my skin, you know, so that's, take it with a grain of salt, you know. Let's go back to Huda Beauty. 
Kayali Vanilla Royale Sugared Vanilla Patchouli 64. Now this is licorice, black licorice. That's it. I know that this would transform on, on my skin and now I'm not scared of it. So now I will spray it on my skin next time. I was really scared to spray it on my skin. I didn't know what I was going to get. I didn't want anything too smoky and especially where I've had a headache. I don't want anything like really strong on right now. That's why I spray guidance, LOL. <laughs> okay, guidance is gonna take an hour. I can see it's getting there. I get the sandalwood right now. Is there sandalwood? I don't know, but I'm getting the sandalwood if there is sandalwood. Guidance is going to take a while. I think it's, it's not bad. Like it's, it's, there's nothing bad about it. It's just that I need to fully wear it. Lyra. I mean, I really like it, but I, it's not all that. It's not all that. Valaya. Valaya. How do you say it? Come on, tell me. Do you say Valaya? Or do you say Valaya, like Zendaya? Or do you say Valaya, like Maya? Or like... You know what I mean. Um, yeah, Shen Quan, I really like it. Really cozy, really sweet and powdery. Like I said, not the black licorice like the pipe licorice. Not like the um, Kayali, but... It's more like the colorful part of the licorice all sorts. That's what I'm getting from that. So yeah. And what else was there? Oh, guidance. Oh my word. I love it from this sample. I love it from the sample. I love smelling it from the sample, but it's so different on my skin. Like it's, it's got a twang, <laughs> flying, it's got a twang to it. So anyways, that gives you a good idea. That gives you sort of, that's the basics of it. So, um, yeah. So thanks for joining my sample sniff today. I've been sitting here with these samples and I couldn't wait. And I'm like, why should I wait till I'm ready to film and wait till I'm fixed up and wait till I am set up. And like, I'm just going to like stick my camera on this little thing and just press record and just go. So that's what I did. So I'm glad you could be with me while I sniff my samples. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I'm still recording. I can't believe I'm still recording. This is amazing. I must have cleared up so much space. It's going to stop any minute, I'm sure, but I don't care. I just had so much fun. Let's see if I'm still recording. Oh my gosh. Wow. I haven't run out of storage yet. That is super exciting. Oh, I'm probably running out of storage by now. I shouldn't keep fretting about that, but... I must have really cleared a lot of space on my phone because I'm still recording. I can't believe it. Yay! Okay, so who knows if I'm even still recording? I don't know. Let me see if I'm still recording. Jeez, I have not run out of storage yet. I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna do this fast before I run out of storage. Oh my god. I hope it captures it. I hope I don't run out. I'm recording, yay! Oh my gosh, so oh my word. Um, all right. Now, see if I'm still recording. Gosh, I'm still recording, but this is crazy. This is crazy, I'm still recording. I can't even believe it. I can't believe it. <sighs> okay, so, it's still going. I can't believe it. Oh my God. I, I just can't believe it. I'm wasting all this time, see if I'm recording.